Welcome back everybody. I'm Mason from Signature Solar and today we're working with a new EG4 18K PV all-in-one hybrid inverter. We're going to run a couple load tests on this inverter today. The first one being a full home load test and then we'll run a surge test as well. For the full home load test we're going to be testing out the vanity lights, a microwave, a television with our system on it, a clothes dryer, and then a lot of people want to know if they can be running an inductive load and still have their air conditioning come on. So we're going to be running a four ton air conditioning unit with a sure start. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Our first appliance we'll crank up will be this microwave for this full home load test. Go ahead and hit start. Excuse me. Go ahead and start that up. All right. Next, we'll go and turn on our clothes dryer. This is a five kilowatt load. Go ahead and crank that. Now we have our clothes dryer running as well. So we have our lights, microwave, TV, and clothes dryer. Now for the big test, the four ton air conditioning. Go ahead and flip this breaker. We've got our fan turning, we've got the air conditioning fired up, right? So we have a normal home appliance load, right? Inductive load, you're doing laundry. It's the middle of the summer, your air conditioning turns on, you're completely covered. All right, so now we'll go ahead and transition into our surge test. All right, so we've ran our whole home load test. Now we wanna run the surge test for the 18K. The appliances we're gonna be using are our space heaters, our oven, and the burners that are attached, and a microwave. Okay, we're gonna keep on going, see how high we can get this inverter to push. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with our oven. We'll turn, go with the bake with 350 preheat. Okay, we do have a camera on our ammeters here to get an accurate reading of how much, uh, how many ampers, amp, amps are being pulled, excuse me. Okay, so we've got our preheat going. We'll go ahead and turn all these burners onto high. Okay, we can hear that 18K start to fire up. Pulling 40, about 40 on each leg, 42 on one, 40 on the other. Now we'll go to our microwave. Okay, excuse me, it's a little finicky. Okay, we got that going. Up to 50 on one leg, about 42 on the other. Okay, 57 and 44. Now we'll go to these space heaters. Okay, we got one turned on, excuse me. About 65 and 42. Still about 62, 51. We'll continue to play with these, see how high we can get that amperage to go. Okay, still working, 59, 54. Bring it up, 59, 57. 60 and 57, so we're now we're over 14 kilowatts, right? As advertised, we're about 61, 56. We'll keep pushing, we're about 14, 1, 14, 2 kilowatts right now. Okay, still pushing, 66 on one leg, 57 on the other. So we are really getting up there now above 14 kilowatts. See how many more space heaters I got to go. Two, to crank up one more. All right, so we've gone ahead and tripped our system, right? The last readout that I saw was at about um, about 64 and 60 on the two legs, so over 14 kilowatts. Thanks for joining us for these tests today. We'll see you next time.